Garlic is one of my most favorite vegetables to grow in the garden. It survives the harsh winter in Wisconsin and it has very little disease or pest pressure. I usually plant about 220 in my own garden and then I save some for seed and the rest we eat all winter long. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to plant it. The first thing you want to do is prep your garden bed for planting. I use a combination of digging fork, a tool we jokingly call the Don after the first farmer I ever worked for, and a hard rake. I usually don't flip over the soil in the garden bed before planting, but because I have clay soil, I will do that before planting garlic so I can loosen up the whole bed. Next, you'll take your seed garlic and pop it, as they say on the farm, but basically that means you're just taking every bulb and breaking it into the individual cloves. You want to try to keep the paper on as much as possible, and I usually work with one variety at a time because I like to keep track of my varieties. Garlic spacing is about six inches apart on all sides. A few years ago, my friend gifted me this awesome onion and garlic planter that we use for all of our alliums. It's just a straight piece of wood with pointed pieces at every six inches. So garlic should be planted about four to six inches deep. So a quick way to easily measure the distance is to mark every six inches on your rake handle and then use a tool like a dandelion digger to open up a deeper hole for the clove. Make sure you're planting with the pointy side of the garlic clove up and the root side down, six inches between each clove, about four to six inches deep. If you're keeping track of your varieties, make sure you write them down on a stake and put them in the bed if you're planting several different varieties in the same garden bed. And then don't forget to write the variety and the amount and the date on your garden map. Smooth the soil on your garden bed to cover the cloves and then you want to mulch the bed thickly with hay or straw. I like to use marsh hay. So a thick layer of mulch will protect the soil and the garlic over the winter. In the spring, the garlic will easily push up through that mulch and you'll start to see green sprouts as the weather warms up. There's not much to do after that except wait for the first sprouts that pop up through that mulch in the next spring. And those are your signal that the new season has just about begun.